Hello guys, what's up? This is your friend Maynar from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel and another video on Tekla Structural Designer. So friends, in today's video, we'll show you how to design a simple truss in the Tekla Structural Designer software and also we'll take you to some of the tips and tricks of this particular software. So without wasting any time, let's get started. First of all, we'll go uh, to our model and we'll create uh, some quick construction levels. Uh, let's uh, create a level below it and give this a uh, level of minus in which our foundation will lie on and then here we'll insert a level above it we'll give it a spacing of let's say 4 meters that is be that will be the height of the particular truss and after that we'll insert another level above it and in that level we'll just give it a height of let's say 1.5 meters okay so this will be our height of the truss which we are going to give and then we'll click on OK. So the codes which we have selected here are we are using the Euro codes and here also in the model settings as you can see these uh, codes we are using for the loading part. So now first of all we'll go to our particular model option and then we'll use the option of rectangular grids to create uh, some grids. So let's just create the grids in all the levels here and uh, origin is good. So now here we have our choice. So we want four, four number of this grids and we want it at a length of say four meters. So like this we want, uh, we'll do this X as alphanumeric and this as Y as numeric. So uh, here we want, uh, let's say, let's give it four as well in here as well. So, so we have this uh, created this grid next next and then finish so the grids have been created as you can see we are good with the grids so now let's create some columns so steel columns we are going to create we can see choose your section i am just taking going for the by default sections which you have you can choose as per your preference let's give some steel columns here and when we give the steel columns and after that we will go back to a structure and then we will take a frame uh, just go to frame and we'll just take a frame uh, in anywhere which may we like and we'll just observe the frame here so when we observe the frame as you can see this is the frame which we have uh, created so we want these columns to be at this level so we'll go to structures and we'll just select all and here we'll just go for our columns and as you can see the top level will just do this so now we'll go back to our frame one now we have we want we have what we want now we'll just go to this particular option of beams where we can add our beams so you can again you can check you can take any type of beam which you want i'm just going with the default one you can change it the section later uh, to any section which you like so we have just created this uh, particular beams and when you have created this beams, you can just click on validate to check whether everything is good. So validation is okay and you can check it in our 3D view how we have created this particular grids. So here go back to the frame also. This is the since this is the same, we'll just I'll just uh, go to edit and in the edit we have the option of copy and we'll just copy this from this to this. So we are good with this. We have copied this. As you can see, we have a double truss type uh, steel structure which we have made and we have copied this successfully. So if we just now uh, just copy all these elements here and if you want then uh, we can just copy this to all the levels here. We'll just click on copy and then we'll just copy this to all the portions. Now uh, if you want we can just create uh, some more steel beams. Here we'll go to model and then beams. At this time, let's take a let's slightly smaller section. Here, let's go with. We'll just choose the section from here by just clicking on this. So here we have. Let's go for a circular or hollow section. So we'll go with the circular hollow section, and we'll choose a particular section. Let's uh, choose this one, and then select and then we can just use this particular sections like this so if let's see if we just join it like this 
and as you can see if we just join it like this then we just click on validate and then you can see that the validation is okay so we can do this but we, we should I think we should increase the size of it just uh, go to this particular section size and we can increase the size of it also the section will just take a higher size for it let's go with this uh, 219 select so this size we can take and now after this has been done we'll go to edit and then copy and then copy it from here to here then here then here then here so after we have copied this in all the levels we can check our model and then validate it once again so validation is okay with this and after that we can add some braces so add some braces we'll go to model and then we'll go to brace let's select this option of x brace so let's we'll select the span from here to here and then we'll pick this so double click on this and the braces will be done so similarly you can go with this so if you want we can just uh, give the alternate spans double click here and like this we can do so if you want you can copy this braces as well just select press ctrl and select this and once we have the reference we'll go to edit and then copy and then we'll just copy this from here to here and then here to here so once this has been copied we'll just click on we'll just close the window and after that we can give some braces to our roof as well we'll just select the x brace once again similarly we'll do this let's apply the braces uh, in the alternate spans here so we'll just select this and then we're selecting this double click here the braces has been done so this select this and then double click here so the braces have been applied as you can see here similarly we can do it for all the parts so let's complete this double click and then single click single click here double click again single click single click here double click two are remaining let's complete this so we have done the part of the bracings let's validate it once again validation is all good now we can apply our roof panels so for applying our roof panels we will model and then we'll just go to this particular option of roof panel and we'll apply our roof panels so we can apply roof panels very easily by selecting this and this endpoint so like this let's apply the entire roof panels here as you can see the process or the workflow of the tech elastic Steel designer software is very easy so we have done this as you can see the roof panels have been applied you can validate the model once again so the roof right now will go towards applying the loads so for the loading parts let's see what are the loads we have we have the self weight and, and the slab self weight which the software will take automatically with the dead load we'll insert some dead load here and the service load we don't need any service load here we'll insert whatever the service load in the dead load part so we don't need this imposed load there will be imposed load for the roof uh, so we'll apply all the uh, you know loads which you need let's first go for the dead load so for the dead load we'll apply an area load as per let's say we'll apply an area load of uh, point 0 0.45 kilonewton per meter square so we'll apply this uh, particular uh, dead load let's apply the dead load for our loop panels this dead load is actually required uh, you know for uh, the maintenance purpose also for this as the service purpose also if there is any repair works required so for that also some service load is required so okay we'll have anyway we're applying the dead loads here and after applying the dead loads let's also go for some imposed loads please note that uh, this imposed load is a roof imposed load if you want you can just go to this load cases and you can just uh, change the name of this uh, roof imposed load to like uh, even change the type to a roof impost so we can do this let's uh, change this type to roof impost and uh, we'll just click on ok so uh, okay now the import load is of the roof impost type 
So now you can uh, apply the roof impost load here and we'll just apply roof impost load of 0 0.75 kN per meter square and this will apply as along projected. So the roof impost load should be projected. So like this we can apply here. Today, for more updates, keep subscribed to our channel and we'll upload the next part soon. Bye-bye.